Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you. I have 25 bread and butter Bolos coming your way. These are items you can buy low and sell for decent margins. Most of these items are around 25 or less. I think that's where I like to keep them. So uh, yeah, it all adds up, right? And these items are typically easier to find items or they sell quickly. Um, those are kind of what I categorize into the bread and butter items. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And these are eBay sales and we are going to get started. All right, let's pull up the screen share. And if you're new to the channel, I would love it if you subscribe. Uh, the channel's focus is items to be on the lookout for items you can buy low and sell high. So I have tons of content on that. So go check out another video if the bread and butter is not for you and you want the high dollar stuff. I definitely have videos on that. Okay, so this is the vintage. It's like a silverware flatware holder. It's kind of interesting. I picked it up at a garage sale and it had silverware in it. And I sold the silverware separately. There was actually a uh, solid silver spoon in it, which was pretty cool and unexpected, but uh, yeah, it's cute. So I decided I'm just gonna list it because somebody might want it. And I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on that. So it was pretty much free because I wanted the silverware. That's why I bought it. And that was from a garage sale. So this was kind of a fun item that was thrown in with a bulk buy. And it, you know, it's got a name on the back. It's a little beat up, but it is a vintage, the Beast Kings Island, I wrote it, pin back button. And I was like, I have got to list this. Somebody is so going to want it. I'm guessing I probably could have got more if the name wasn't on the back. I don't know if somebody will be able to get that off or not. Maybe it's not a big deal, but, um, you know, uh, I took a best offer of $8 for it and the buyer paid shipping. And I'm just excited that probably somebody got something that they've been looking for. Kind of, you know, just a cool item. The next item is these, this was a retail arbitrage. I, if you guys ever been to Bargain Hunt, um, it's a discount store and I think they buy like pallets and stuff like that. I'm not really sure. Um, I just go in there from time to time to see what they have just because I like to buy stuff for myself and every once in a while I'll see a really good deal and pick it up to sell. These were like 90% off or something crazy that day um, of the discounted price. So I think I got them for like two or $3 and I bought three of them and they're duvet covers and they're for a queen bed. And I just thought they were super cute. And I have sold three of them and I took a best offer on this one for 20. Uh, maybe I've sold four. Oh no, I declined that one. So 20, 18 and 20, which I, or no, they declined. So I don't know. But um, yeah, so two, three bucks into 20. So not a huge bolo, but they sold at a decent rate. I mean, nothing like, oh, they flew off the shelf, but decent. The next item, these tag books. Again, tag books are flying out of my store. I had a whole tote of tag books. I picked them up at a garage sale a whole tote. They've been sitting in my money pile. I want to say I paid like 10 bucks or something for all of them. It was a crazy garage sale. It was one of the, one of the best garage sales that I've been to. I, I can think of like three that I went to last summer that were just amazing. And this was one of them. And I decided to get them out of my money pile and get them listed. And I am so glad I did because they are selling like hotcakes. Sold this for $22 plus shipping. And this pen, if you guys are not familiar with it, it links up to these books and it it reads them. As you take the pen across the words, it reads the words. This pen was connected to these books already. So I just went ahead and sold it as a lot. The next item is this pig, this Langham glass pig. This was one of my Goodwill bins finds. And if you guys watch my Goodwill bins videos, you will see me find this item. And I was kind of excited about it become comps looked good. But then I noticed that the tail had a little teeny chip on it, which was unfortunate. So I took, um, I sold it for $14.96 plus shipping. I still made money. Um, it was kind of heavy, but it was still probably only a buck or two. I think my Goodwill bins is like $1.40 something per pound. Maybe it's $1.50. 
I don't know, I've only gone a few times and you guys have been with me. <laughs> so I probably tell in the video. And I hope to get back soon. I'm hoping that this lockdown is going to be over soon. Hopefully by the time this video posts, we will be like back in action out shopping, but it's just hard to say. Right now it is April 30th when I am recording this video, but I'm recording like 10 videos tonight because I am so behind on my what sold. So um, I'm hoping to get 10 done, but yeah. So I don't know when I'll post this, but anyway, this cute little box came from a garage sale. It's beautiful. Um, it's called, uh, Oh, is it Pryro, Pryography, P-R-Y-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y. I don't even know how to say it, but it's an old glove box and it's wood. And I don't know if this is like how they get this stamped into the wood. Um, whatever that word is, is how they do it, I guess. But it's really, really neat. Um, I took a best offer on this for $15 plus shipping. And I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. The next item is the vintage Barbie skipper and scooter. And they are not in the greatest condition. They've got some issues with their legs. Like it's completely split at the knee. And I sold this for $20 plus shipping. People will buy these for parts. Um, maybe they just want the head. Um, her head looks pretty good. Her hair is a hot mess. I think they can reroute their hair also. So I'm really like into looking for Barbies right now. I think it's super fun. And I'm it's a category I'm trying to learn about because there's a lot of money in Barbies. And I know it used to be like a crazy market for it. It's gone down, but um, I've still sold some stuff for a decent price. All right, the next item is this Pocahontas doll. And this is a newer doll. You know, she's not vintage or anything. And I sold her for $12 plus shipping. It was like a bulk buy of dolls, and so I probably have less than a dollar in her. Uh, this is the Lego Friends instruction manual, which unfortunately sold, and somebody returned it, which is just odd to me. Like, But I have free 30-day returns, so I had to pay the return shipping on it. But I'm one of those people where I'm like, no matter what, I'm going to take the return because there's people that will open up returns just so the buyer's like, I'm not going to pay or the sellers, like, I'm not going to pay to have them return it. So then they just close the case and give the person their money. I do not do that. I make them return it. I will just uh, chalk it up as a business expense because I think the more people that allow people to abuse the return system and they just give them their money, the more people are going to, you know, do that. So um, I make them return it. And this sold for $8.80 plus. Uh, the buyer paid shipping. So I still made money on it. The next item is this vintage Lisa Frank Halloween party favors. They're little coloring activity books. Lisa Frank is um, a lot of stickers and stuff like that. If you guys haven't seen my stickers bolo category video, you should definitely go check that out. It is crazy what vintage stickers go for. Um, I have a whole category video on it. But this sold for a best offer of $9.50 plus shipping. I bought a tote full of Halloween items and I was like, I know I'm not going to make a ton of money on this, but I feel like it's something that somebody might collect. So I took the time to list it and I still made, you know, probably seven, eight bucks on it, which is great. The next item is this lion crown pin. It's a brooch and I took a best offer of $10 for this and the buyer paid shipping. And that came from a, uh, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, but it was not the bulk buy. All right. This is a Tigger oven mitt and pot holder. It's a two piece set. I bought this last summer with a bunch of Tigger items and it was a bulk buy. So I probably have about a buck in this and I sold this for $22 and 25 cents plus shipping. And they have messaged me asking me if I have more and I feel like I probably could have got the $35 out of it, but you know, I probably had less than a buck in it and I was happy to see it go. So I'm glad that it went to somebody who like really likes Tigger, you know, the next item is, okay. These are Talbot shorts. Uh, they're size 10. I picked them up at a garage sale for 50 cents. The reason I'm showing you this is, is because, you know, a lot of times people pass by the clothes and you can buy clothes and make great money bread and butter items. There's even big money 
clothing items that you can buy at garage sales and stuff. So don't dismiss them. I'm getting out of clothes. So you're not going to see me post a lot of clothes. But if I'm at garage sales and I see a name brand that's either like a decent bread and butter item, easy to list, or, you know, if I can find vintage clothes at garage sales, I'm definitely picking that up. But I do still pick it up from time to time. So I wanted to let you guys know that, that I'm not completely out of the clothing business, but you guys know from my past video how much clothes I still need to list. The next item is these eight tracks. Oh my goodness, these took forever to sell. I picked them up at a state sale. I don't remember what I paid for them. I don't know if it's because they were untested. I have no idea, but I will not pick up eight tracks again. Now, did I sell them? Yes. Did I make a profit? Yes. I took a best offer of 15 plus shipping, but it took so long to sell. I don't know if I had them like listed wrong. If anybody can give me any tips on why this took so long to sell, maybe the artists are bad. I don't know, but want want on that one. But it did sell and I did make money. So I wanted to share the experience. This was not a good experience. So just wanted to share that. The next item is this Imagine X uh, Fisher Price item. This came from a garage sale. It actually came from the same garage sale that I bought all of the tag uh, leapfrog items from. And this lady used to sell on eBay and she had so much good stuff. It was awesome. So I probably had less than a dollar in this. I took a best offer of $13.50 plus shipping. And yeah, I was pretty excited. It sold pretty quick. All right, this was another one that I just felt like I wanted to list because it was Halloween and they're mini stampers and they're markers. So I thought I put a picture of like what they looked like, but I guess I didn't. I tested them all. I sold it for eight bucks plus shipping, major bread and butter, but um, a fun little bolo that I thought I'd share. A anything can sell on eBay, you know? Like for you guys that are at home and can't source right now, start looking through your house. These I got at a garage sale for next to nothing, but I'm sure you have things like this laying around your house or maybe not markers, but you know. All right, the next item is this giraffe pin. Pen, pin, oh my goodness, it's a ring. And one of my subscribers bought this after she watched my unboxing video. And she also bought these rings. And I took a best offer, um, I can't remember. I think I took a best offer of 30 for these and 15 for this. So a total for the two items was $45. And I appreciate it so much. If you're watching, which I'm sure you are because you have been a subscriber like since I started, you always comment on my videos and I just appreciate you so much. And thank you for the purchase. I am so happy they went to a great home and I know you're not a reseller and you bought these items for personal use. So I'm excited that you're getting them and thank you so much again. And you guys, I always link um, my stores down below in the description. So if anybody ever wants to make me an offer on an, an item, that is awesome. Just let me know um, when you make the offer that you're a subscriber. The next item is, okay, so a gal messaged me, I believe she was in Canada, and she wanted all three of my glowing frogs that I had left. These came from a garage sale. It was a bulk buy. I think I had about 33 cents in each one. And um, I sold them to her for $15 each. And she asked if I would change it to like a more, I had it on global shipping program. And she asked if I would change it to just shipping at first class. And you know, I probably just need to make that change because I've had a lot of people ask me, lately and I wonder how many sales I'm losing because of global shipping. Um, there's things that are fantastic about global shipping program and then I guess there's things that aren't great for the actual people that are buying internationally. So I don't really know all the pros and cons. I should maybe Google YouTube and see if there's a video on that. So I sold each one of these frogs for $15 each for a total of $45 plus shipping. The next item is this patch. Again, it's a major bread and butter item. I sold it for eight bucks plus shipping. Um, there's some people that that's all they do is they sell patches and you know, they'll sell a patch for five bucks, but they're selling tons and tons of patches. Not really my thing, but if I find a cool one like this, I will list it. And I sold it for $8 plus shipping, picked it up at a garage sale, super cheap, less than a buck. And I was excited to see that find a new home. 
All right, this is another thing that came in my bulk purchase of beads that I picked up at a garage sale. It was a whole bag of beads, like crazy, crazy beads. And they sold so fast on Poshmark, the beads. But uh, this little guy, I sold for $10.56 plus shipping. And it's some sort of like knotter tool. I have no idea how it works, but I just typed in the bead knotter and hey, you know, I got it from like next to nothing because it came with all the beads. Uh, Two's Company Easter Bracelet. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It was almost 350 pounds of jewelry. I paid like 170 some dollars for all of it. And I uh, took a best offer for two of these. Um, and they paid $20 for two of them plus shipping. The next item are these Barbies. Again, I pick Barbies up all the time. This was a bulk buy. These two um, were not Barbies. I shouldn't have said Barbies. I misspoke. They're Hasbro dolls. I'm not sure what they were called, but um, it's some type of doll. But they they look like kind of like a Barbie. But uh, maybe my reseller treasure will watch. And if you do, tell us below what these are if you know. She has an awesome channel. It's called My Reseller Treasure. She talks about Barbies, like how to clean them up, how to list them, how to identify them, how to identify clothes. She is like a machine at selling Barbies. I mean, I'm talking like she sells Barbie clothes for hundreds of dollars. She sells Barbies for hundreds of dollars. I want to know where she's getting all these awesome Barbies, but she knows her stuff and she's amazing. Go check out her channel, My Reseller Treasures. Awesome channel. And, um, Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you made it this far, comment, I made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Have a great night, and I'll see you guys soon. Go watch another Bolo video. There should be shooting up like here and here, and then there's a subscribe like here maybe. I don't know. They're all over the place, but there should be some things popping up. So you have some options. Thanks for watching. Oops.